you guys are on your way home? Yeah. Okay, everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, love you. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, love you too. I feel the brakes so much more. It's like the compound is in a in a way that it's abrasive enough that I actually feel the holes in the in the, in the disc. Woo. So we got a new back tire put on this bike. It didn't need one. I just wanted to put a new one on. We're going to Sonoma Raceway. Obviously, Sonoma Raceway is a track that I feel like I know the best out of all the tracks that I know. And I'm very excited to go to Sonoma Raceway to try to put down a, a good effort in what I've been learning and what I've been, you know, trying to train for. Also, like the motorcycle configuration at Sonoma is just a little different. I just wanted to have a brand new tire on just so that I could have all levels of traction. So we're test riding currently just to make sure everything's good to go. No binding issues. I'm super close to home. Anything that's needed, you know, I can go ahead and, and get back and make those changes. This bike is big aggressive, man. Rubbing a little bit off of this rear tire and not doing too much. Just wearing it in just a little bit. Man, this bike is cool. I don't know what the guy set my tire pressure at. So obviously we'll check for that a little later. For y'all that are new to the channel, this is my 2014 R1. It is my dream bike. I always wanted this specific model. Right after the refresh, it added the LED strips that made it look like the R8 style um, daytime running lights. I'm not the type of dude that's going to go out and fully modify a bike just to do freeway pulls. That's not me. That's not in my repertoire. That doesn't even entertain me. But I am the guy to go put a couple of mods on it. Slight modifications very tasteful and we do track days so for this bike currently i've got the sprockets 520 conversion done on it it is a couple teeth up from stock i've done the grips and the levers and the clip-on just to give myself more leverage better feel of control and more comfort we've done the brakes on this bike as well uh ebc pads they're pretty aggressive tires dunlop q4s and uh engine case covers obviously i don't really like sliders but uh gotta protect the engine if i'm tearing up the fairings that's one thing but i don't want to tear up the engine we've also done the cat delete on this bike it does seem a little bit more powerful no it's not flashed or tuned yet that'll be coming soon and then for aesthetics and a little bit of function we've got the double bubble on it as well as the frame and swing arm covers which yes is a heavy fashion thing, but it also does protect the frame in case I do dump it pretty big. You slide through some gravel or something like that, you get some big rashes on your frame. There's really no bringing that back unless you fully get a new frame or get the frame super repaired, which would be a lot of downtime and a full disassembly of the bike. Other than that, we've got suspension set up and I kind of try to run a specific tire pressure depending on temperature, how I feel, etc, etc. Light tech, block offs, seat cow, that's going to round up everything that I've done to this bike aside from getting this pro style wraps nice. I was going to do a WGP reversed, but this ended up looking a little bit better and keeping that factory YZF-R1 livery on there. I'm going to get the belly pan. I was kind of on the fence about carbon fiber belly pan because I got so much carbon fiber in that area, but it's at the bottom. You're not even going to notice it. It'll just look black. So I may just end up going with the carbon fiber belly pan. But other than that, that's really all that I've done with this bike. I've enjoyed it on many different track days. We are going to Sonoma Raceway. That is the next event here in two weeks. I wanted to get the tires on to get that out of the way. I just put it on. I wanted to make sure that everything was together and good to go we don't have no issues um 
you know what? I forgot to torque that nut, but I did zap it down pretty fucking good. But I got to get the breaker bar on it. So we ain't going to be going too hammy. I did also want to say that I am going to be starting a whole nother series. It's going to be on the YouTube. It's going to be a seasonal thing. So Jalen and I have been having a good time trying to become our best uh, doing track days. But y'all that have been with the channel know that I've been doing track days. I've been doing track days a very long time. So I plan on starting a series, my personal best or our personal best, the personal best chasing personal best i don't know maybe just personal best now what that's going to consist of is obviously our endeavors on track days motorcycle car drift for right now i'm working on my driving talent and riding talent pushing ourselves and progressing as better pilots we'll call those pilots because motorcycles cars you can't say you're a driver when you're riding you can't say you're a rider when you're driving so pilots of our machines It'll be really cool for you guys to have a playlist of it and be able to go see that documented timeline and chronological order and me and my son both progress as we, you know, play with our machines a little bit more. So I'll probably start filming that this weekend, Sonoma Raceway, the 6th, which will be Sunday, We're taking the RX-8 over there, Speed SF track events. We got fresh new rubs on there and we're gonna go send that car as fast as we can because we are 0.5 off of the fastest RX-8 lap record there. RX-8s are slow, but all the RX-8s in the category, they all got a lot of mods or power upgrades or things like that. We know my RX-8 don't. It's just light with suspension and tire. Street tire at that. The other RX-8s have slicks and all this other shit, and I want to get the dominant of the slow pokes <laughs> so i want to get the fastest rx8 time that's going to be this weekend i'm going to be filming that probably when you guys see this we're going to be doing that and that's going to be the next video that you guys see up next i'm gonna try and do a very good job of editing it i'm probably going to make personal best videos short kind of getting to the meat and potatoes of it no big talking on all that you will get a vlog from it but personal best videos category videos are going to be a little shorter i don't know how long that's going to be four minutes nine minutes not sure it depends on what i can stick into a spot that has a good flow so we'll see how that works out with filming and editing and then we'll be able to go from there and that's going to be a series that you guys can look out for after every track of it everything sits good oh i also put the 190 on the back of the r6 matter of fact let's head to the house and i'll show you how that fit let's jump on this beauty let me get, matter of fact, let me, matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, let me get some more beauty shots, baby. how this profile looks of this tire um, I definitely do understand that the GoPro does add a little bit of different roundness to it than what it actually is but you do see the roundness of the tire it's obviously the same factory size tire that I had on the bike this doesn't have that type of roundness um, but as you can see it does have the same crown that it once had before this tire wasn't bad I just decided to take it off this is a 180 60 17. Obviously this is a 190 55 17, just about the same exact sizing, same exact spacing it had before. 
and I'm very happy with it. This is the two track day tire off of the R1. So that one has a new biscuit on it. That one went to this bike and that tire matches this front tire very well. So my plan is actually to take both of these bikes this next track day, couple of sessions on this one, then we're gonna run like one or two at the end of the day on this one. I think it'll be a great experience for me, uh, especially to try like out both the bikes at the same time. I can kind of stretch my legs and provide myself with a early session experience on this and then get the late sessions in on this and after riding something as monsterful as this uh this should be a breeze but i'm lying because we all know 600s get people in trouble real fast so i also have other q4 sitting right here ready to rock you know this house is falcon and dunlops <laughs> good thing that they fought with each other um oh yeah brand new joints on this joint right here too so yeah, we're, we're all good. We're set for the beginning of the season. We're going to go try to run our personal best. I feel like I'm going to get very close, if not right on the money, with getting the overall lap time record for the RX-8s at Sonoma Raceway. It's going to come down to my aggression early on when the track is cooler and for better time frame. I've been told that cooler track makes faster laps. We don't know if that's true, but the more experienced guys have told me that. I got to go see it for myself. We'll see how we can turn it out. We'll be getting data early in the day and we'll be making sure that we've got all of our uh, track attic and uh, transponders and everything else on this car to get our official times real early in the day. For these things, I do not care about lap time. Not for this track day. Don't care about lap times. We just wanna get around the track fast. Now remember, what this whole bike's meaning has been is training for me to get comfortable bombing in the corners, using the most out of the brake zones, getting in the corners, getting on throttle. So with this thing, knowing it has the grip, I know this bike is fire as far as grip goes. I'm going to be trying to use all the braking zone, bombing in the corners and rolling out and getting on throttle quicker. My biggest pet peeve has been lag off of throttle then on brake, then off brake, then on throttle. Where I need to be throttle, brake, throttle again. I don't need those lag time. But we're going with friends, so there may not be a session that I'm gonna be tearing off, but I do wanna get my flows up better. I wanna know the lines and go for the lines and get my flows better. So that's what the plan is for this weekend. And next, personal best, new series. It's gonna be playlist. Make sure that y'all subscribe to the channel because when I upload those, those should be very exciting and you guys are going to enjoy them 100%. Family's home. Let me do family stuff real quick.